हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई यूट्यूब चैनल अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस आई एम श्रुति खर्रर वॉलेंटियर एट ए एफ आर एस ही ऑफ विथ अ न्यू प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो फॉरेंसिक फोटोग्राफी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द प्रैक्टिकल द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द फॉरेंसिक फोटोग्राफी प्रैक्टिकल इज टू स्टडी द चेंजेस इन फोटोग्राफ्स बाय अप्लाइंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फिल्टर्स ऑफ कैमरा सो वॉट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स विच आर नीडेड फॉर डूइंग दिस प्रैक्टिकल दे आर मोबाइल फोन और कैमरा कैमरा कैन बी एस एल आर देन एक्सटर्नल फ्लैश विच इज नीडेड टू लाइट द क्राइम सीन देन ट्राईपॉड स्टैंड बैटरीज एस डी कार्ड्स एंड स्केल सो टू गेट द बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट फॉरेंसिक फोटोग्राफी वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द थियोरिटिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ फॉरेंसिक फोटोग्राफी इट इज विजुअल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ क्राइम सीन मीन्स इट इज वन काइंड ऑफ मैथड विच इज यूज टू डॉक्यूमेंट द क्राइम सीन सच एज इट कैन बी ऑफ स्केचिंग रिपोर्ट राइटिंग सिमिलरली वी ऑल्सो डू द फॉरेंसिक फोटोग्राफी सो फॉरेंसिक फोटोग्राफी इज डन यूजिंग वेरियस डिवाइसेस विच कैन कैप्चर एंड सेव द सेंस इट एक्ट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इविडेंस इन द केस study or in court of law because it is a important step in crime scene investigation as it preserves the crime scene in its original form and which will obviously help in investigation so when we look at the crime scene and the photography we can get the detail idea about what has happened at that place and what can be the conclusion or what we can study from it it helps us in determining the exact location of evidences which are present at the crime scene and it is also done in respect with the scales so we can measure the size of evidences photographs taken at the crime scene helps in reconstructing the crime scene and also to evaluate the crime scene mainly the photography is done with the camera or mobile phones as we mentioned in the requirements so the camera can be slr uh, which is also called a single reflex camera forensic photography is not only includes the photography but also the videography it do, capturing the video of the crime scene gives you overall idea about what are the evidences and how they are related so you might think what is the difference between the forensic photography and normal photography in the both case we are capturing this photographs or taking the video but the main difference is while taking the photographs for forensic photography we have the specific purpose to capture it and it is done at the crime scene if the photographs are not taken properly then it will be a difficulty for forensic investigator to know what has happened at the crime scene and what type of crime has been occurred so one thing which plays most important role in crime scene investigation is photography so the photo must be taken by length by proper angle which will not have any kind of shadow and which will show the relationship between other evidences to do to do this photography we can capture images by three methods first one is overview which is also called as bird eye view second one is middle range photography and third one is close up photography which is also called as evidence photography so let's discuss in detail about each of them first one is overall range photography which means it covers the complete crime scene The main purpose of this photography is to tell where the crime scene is and what is the boundary. Means it defines the location. It covers the complete area of scene, which is including of all kinds of evidence and relation between the evidence and the space surrounding the crime scene. Next is middle range photography. In the middle range photography, we just use it to determine the relationship between one evidence with respect to the another. it is also to determine relationship between the fixed object and the evidence so fixed object can be a chair or it can be anything surrounding which the object is placed then the next is about the close up photography which is used to do the evidence photography which means it focuses on individual evidence and depicts the markings in detail it gives the study about the evidence while in the middle range photography we used it to determine the location of each evidence in respect with the other in doing the close up photography the main aim is to detect the ev- individual features of an evidence or the defects present on the evidence so the generally two close up photographs are taken one which is with scale and one which is without scale The with scale photograph is used to determine the length whereas without scale is do the detail study
while taking the photograph the condition is that the camera should cover the complete evidence in one photograph for which we can use many kinds of filter while taking the photograph to increase the intensity clarity contrast and to get the picture more clear to eyes and which can be used as in proper evidence to depict the detailed case investigation let's begin with the actual practical so first one let's study about the procedure procedure the first point is set all the flashlight tripods and other instruments if required for capturing the photographs so it means which photograph we have to take we have to consider about the camera its contrast and about the modes of photography other instruments can be such as scale next one is second point which is take out camera or mobile phones to capture the photograph and third one is if proper contrast is not there one must change the filter to get a clear picture such as using various kinds of light or using various kinds of filters of different colors this is the complete photograph of an crime scene which is taken as an overall view or bird eye view showing the various kinds of evidence and objects present in the room it is taken from two orientation one from the first photograph in which uh, it is taken from the right side and another one is from the door side which is mentioned in the first photograph next are the middle range photograph which is consisting of three photographs which gives the relationship between the evidence such as knife cigarette the first photograph is establishing the relationship between the evidence of cigarette and the laptop as object placed near it as the matchbox bag and the blanket second photograph consists of the knife and the mobile phone third photograph is the evidence giving uh, information about the knife mobile phone laptop and the cigarettes of which the approximate distance can be estimated from the given photographs and the relation can be made within the objects next are the close up photographs also called as evidence photographs it consists of the cigarettes matchbox mobile knife and the fingerprints which are present and the mobile phone while taking the evidence photograph of cigarette there has the presence of the ash match stick second one is the photo of the match box which is placed near to the page having the indication of the page number the next photo is of the mobile phone showing the brand name that is redmi then it is followed by the photographs of the knife one is with scale and next one is without scale so one which is with scale gives the information about the length and width of the knife and without scale one is showing the sharpness of the edges of knife for the photograph of without scale one we have used the flashlight and for the photograph of uh, with scale one we have used the natural light of the day in the natural light it is the shadow falling on the knife so to avoid it we have also used the flashlight in the photographs which is taken without the scale clearly observed the mobile phone were found with the fingerprints which were made visible by using the oblique light source and then it was photographed so above is the presentation of the fingerprints which are found on the mobile phone next is the photograph of footprint which is enlightened or made visible completely using the blue filter of light after performing the practical of forensic photography the following observation is made that is photographs with different filters such as using oblique lights using the flashlight and the model of camera used for capturing is samsung a21s mobile resolution of primary camera is 48 megapixel f by 2.0 then that of angle camera is 8 megapixel f upon 2.2 that is wide angle and ultra wide angle then of camera it is 2 megapixel f by 2.4 and depth camera is of 2 megapixel f by 2.4 from the above observation results are concluded as filters can be applied to get more clear pictures of the crime scene for better understanding the significance of 
photography in forensic sciences it is to give the exact view of the crime scene also it is used to store the information which cannot be taken up during the investigation process it gives the relationship between the evidence and other object present at the crime scene it also gives about the exact location and exact views of the crime scene can be used for the reconstruction of the crime scene which gives the complete details and it is admissible in the court of law and can act as an important evidence while performing this practical some of the precautions must be taken first one is to focus the camera while taking the picture because the blur picture doesn't give the proper information not to turn on the flashlight until and unless it is necessary if the sufficient light is present then take the picture with proper angle to get the better vision with this we have completed the practical of forensic photography for more of such information do subscribe our channel thank you